Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm very clinky with my jewellery today. Today we're going to be doing our three looks, one palette using the Colourpop That's Taupe palette. I was thinking about only doing two looks with this because it is a nine pan palette and it's all neutral but I came up with a lot of looks in my head that I wanted to do and I wanted to try and use every single colour in the palette so that's why. I loved how my first impressions turned out. If you want to see that, that's already been posted. And I did swatches and everything so you can see everything up close. I did a beautiful halo eye on that. It was stunning, very me, but I love it. The, the dark brown is still my favourite in the palette so far. The Super Shock is becoming a good favourite as well. The shimmers are beautiful, the mattes are beautiful. Gorgeous, cool toned, but has a touch of warmth if you need of it as well. This is the first look that I did. I have two more coming up, kind of different as well. I tried to make them as different as I could. But yeah, if you want to see any up close pictures of this look, then my Instagram is linked down below. I always do up close eye pictures and face pictures of every look that I do. Mostly, unless I forget or I decide not to post something because I don't really like how it turned out or don't like how the pictures turned out or something like that, then I tend not to or if it's a bit boring I won't but I really like how this turned out so there will definitely be pictures of this. I will also be doing an IGTV of me swatching this in the future so hit or hit subscribe, hit like and follow and all that kind of jazz down below so you can see whenever I do that. I don't know when because I have a lot to do but it will happen eventually. Also hit subscribe down below to see more videos coming up. I have many more palettes that I have to play with in my collection that I haven't tried yet. Swatches, three looks on palette, two looks on palettes, a uh, colour series, up close collection where I swatch and play with things in my collection for no reason, get ready with these, random tag videos here and there because I think I'm doing a tag video at the end of the month, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's all coming up so hit subscribe down below if you're interested. And yeah, let's get into look number one. Alrighty guys, so let's get into look number one using the That's Taupe palette from Colourpop. I want to go dark smoky eye very dark smoky eyes so I'm going to definitely be using my favourite colour so far the matte brown which you wouldn't think of matte dark brown would be my favourite but it is I want to use this one here because it's kind of like a cooler base with like a golden shimmer in it I think that would be pretty I'll probably use Pebble Beach the kind of warmest of the colours to blend and then maybe slate it as my inner corner or something like that I think that might be pretty it's just going to be a super strong smoky eye nothing too technical nothing too structured it's just going to be quite blendy and all that jazz so let's get into it the face is already on skin brows and eyeshadow primer is already on it's all listed down below so you can see it there so let's get straight in so i'm going to start with pebble beach the warmest see there's three blending colors technically out of these three here four if you include this one but i wouldn't consider that one of the darker shades just a lighter darker shade but pebble beach is the warmest it's the most kind of tan looking one out of them all let me just make sure my primer is increasing i'm using my p louise base as an actual primer this time not just my cut crease sort of thing I'm taking that on a 6ss isn't it yeah 6ss from mac and just really get in there and blend that out when I first like got the palette, opened it and swatched it and started thinking about these videos that I wanted to do, this look and the second look in this video is what like I really, really wanted to do straight away. They were the first things I thought of, which you might think is weird that I didn't then do them in my first impressions. I find doing a halo eye is a really nice gauge for me to get a first impressions because it's my favourite kind of eye shape. So no matter what, that's going to be the thing that sells anything for me is a halo eye how it looks in my halo eyes i use these kind of videos where i can get a bit more creative with the palette so i can create a full-on look then that i know what i'm going to be doing prior to it that is such a pretty color that is like the perfect brown like mid-tone brown shade for me because it's not too orange it doesn't pull orange at all on me but it's still warmer and i like it next up then we're going to take bedrock which is the dark brown my favourite shade so far in the palette. I haven't fully played with every shimmer. Like this shimmer that I use in this look could be my favourite. And usually a shimmer is my favourite. But this brown is just... It just speaks to me. I've taken that on a 221 from MAC. I forgot to say. And we're just going to run that through the crease on the outer corner. And make it blend into that first shade that we applied. Keeping that same shape as well. I feel like this is a real sexy palette. That's what's coming to my head whenever I use it. It's super simple and sexy. I can get really cool looking looks out of it. Ooh, I just really like it. Then I'm just taking my 6SS just with whatever's left on it and then just use that to 
Make sure, especially around where the wingy bit is, is nice and blended out. Okay, so working on the lower lash line, we're gonna stick with Bedrock. This is a MAC, what are you, 231. It's like a little lip brush kind of thing, but I'm just using it for my lower lash line because it works great for that. Take a little bit of that and we're gonna run that through the lower lashes. I, I can't deal with this dark brown. Oh my God, this could convert me to neutrals, this palette. Not really. I don't even really like this palette properly. <laughs> I like a lot of neutral palettes, but there's something about this makes me excited. Then we're going to go back into Pebble Beach. This is a BH Cosmetics Lavender Luxe. Let me get the number for you. Number 10 brush, and it's just a little pencil brush, so whatever little pencil brush you want. And we're just going to use that to blend out the lower lash line. Smoke that baby. You. Okay, so now we are sufficiently smoky. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Glitter Primer. I'm just gonna take my finger because, you know, we're not going anything too precise with this. I just wanna get a little bit on there, give it a little bit extra stickiness to make sure we can really see those gold sparkles in this shadow. It's not a sequin shadow, by the way. There actually is no sequin shadows. It's just a super shock. It's the only really different texture. It's matte and their gorgeous metallic formula, so. So then we're gonna go into Constrictor, which is this middle one on the bottom here hoping I don't get too much fallout but I have a feeling I might because with my first impressions I did get fallout with the shimmer so let's see and I am getting a little bit from the uh, darker shade but we'll just see how this looks Ooh, ooh, yeah I'm getting a little bit of fallout particularly in here where my brush kind of flicks off the skin but that's fine I'll be reapplying concealer anyway oh yes oh <gasps> yes and then just take a little bit more bedrock which is the darker shade on my 221 brush and just tap over, particularly the outer corner where it meets the edges. But then I'm going to run a little bit through the crease just to make sure there's no harsh line between the shimmer and the mattes. Okay, so very quickly before my SD cards <laughs> runs out, I can see it there. I'm going to take Slated, which is the Super Shock shadow. I'm actually going to take my finger because I find the Super Shocks go on better with my finger. We're just going to press this in here. This is probably my second favourite colour in the palette because it's so sparkly and twinkly looking. I think it's so pretty. And we're just going to press that in there. That's how it looks so far. I haven't done the other side because I'm actually doing a TikTok at the same time. So I want to do that on my TikTok. So I am going to jump off. I'm going to finish off the rest of my eyes, skin and lips. And I will let you know what I use when I come back. Okay guys, so this is how I have finished off the look. It's a super sexy smoky. I'm feeling myself a little bit in this. Yes, I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna go quickly through everything that I used in my face. On my eyes, I didn't do any like proper winged line or anything like that, because I wanna do it in the next look and probably the one after that as well. So I just wanted to mix up a little bit in my three looks. So I used my Urban Decay 24 seven glide on eye pencil in the shade zero. And then my mascara, oh, I used that actually in my waterline and I smudged it across my lashes on top. I tight lined as well with it just for something to, for the lashes to blend into basically. Then I went in with my mascara, the Clinique Lash Power Mascara on my top and bottom lashes, but I pop lashes on anyway, so don't really notice, but on my bottom lashes, I actually really like, I love the wand. Then my false lashes are the BH Cosmetics D305 lashes. So they're kind of like, if you have or have seen MAC 36 lashes, they're very similar, a little bit thicker than those though. And um, they taper out and wing them here and they're super fluffy and really sexy looking and I really like it. They add to that wingy sort of shape that we did. Then onto cheeks, I use my ML or Model Launcher. Model Launch? I don't know what it's called. It's ML on the front here. The Safari Bronzer. It's this guy. I use that to bronze up my skin, give me a little bit of shape as well, and down my nose. Then my blush is this guy here. I've never used it, but I got it in a glossy box ages ago. And the, I think over Christmas, this is the Beauty Crop Blush Duo in Orion Glow, I think it is. Yes, I think so. And it's like a pinky peach and then like a more peachy peach and I use the more peachy peach side and it's, they're so pigmented they're satin finished though so they do give a bit of a glow if you don't like full-on highlighter they're nice but very pigmented so be very careful with them I had to go very very lightly with them then my highlighter is the MUA Lux set and reflect finishing kit it's this guy here it's in white gold basically the way this works is underneath is a setting powder which I've never actually used I don't think but I do really like the highlighter because it's kind of that yellowy sort of tone. And I use a lot of that color 
because like that yellowy sort of tones and kind of match my jewelry to it because the yellowy gold sparkles that's in the shadow on the lid that's why then my lips i knew i wanted to do nude but i didn't know which kind of nude i wanted to do so i had to have a little play around so i decided on my huda beauty lip contour pencil in the shade flirt which is a kind of tan brown it's not a super warm brown but it's a tan brown. So I use that just to line my lips and I fill them in a little bit as well. Then I went super pale with my lipstick. I use my Inglot lipstick in, it's a matte lipstick in the shade 413. It's a super, super pale nude. I pop that on top and I'm loving this combination. I keep catching myself in the mirror being like, oh, oh, your lips look good. So that little combo is nice, but it's a super matte lipstick. It's not my favorite matte lipstick. It's quite drying. So I did want to put a gloss on top of it. And I went with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee a very very big favorite of mine so i pop that on top Alrighty, guys so that is our first look using the that's taupe palette that's very hard to say from ColourPop, and i am already loving it i think it's great it's a lovely little neutral palette it's probably going to be in my favorites of the year maybe but it's definitely one of my favorite neutral palettes that i own i really like it i have a couple of other neutral ones that i want to use so i'll have to see how they go first but yeah i'm really liking it so far still my favorite color and the super shock they're my two faves but yeah I'm really happy with how the first look turned out, so let's see what look number two does. Alrighty guys, so let's get into look number two using the That's Taupe palette. This look is going to be simple enough look. The drama is all going to be on the liner and the lip, but the shadows are going to just add to the vibe of the look. So I'm definitely going to go into Boa, Slated and rock steady because I haven't actually used this shade yet. So this entire row down here, I'm probably going to only use a little bit of this. It's going to be mostly the two lighter shades because I want the eyes to be lighter. Focus on the liner and the lip. And yeah, that's it. Everything that I have on my face right now is listed down below. I do already have my cheeks done except for my highlighter, but I'll let you know what they are towards the end. So let's get straight in. Eyes are already primed and everything, so we're all good to go for now. So I'm gonna go into the shade Boa, which is the lightest matte shade of the palette. It will add a little bit of color, but it's very similar to my skin. It's not as light, it's a little bit darker than my skin, but it's close enough. But this is mostly going to be a blending colour, softening colour. And I don't, like, I want there to be depth in the crease, but not too much. So I kind of like having this colour there. This is the sort of colour that I would wear if I wanted to not look like I had a lot of eyeshadow on. But I still wanted my eyelid to be, like, nice looking. I would pop this all over the lid and blend it out. I had a colour like this. I still have it, actually. I just very rarely use it because I think they discontinued it from Makeup Geek. It was called Baby Face. That was one of my favourite shades I ever did. And it's very rare I like a colour that's a nude like that. So yeah, I'm just taking it on a Spectrum B07 brush. Big fluffy blending brush and just fluff that the whole way through the crease and blow that out as much as you want. So now what we're going to do is take Rock Steady, which is that deeper kind of grazy colour. Not the deepest colour in the palette, it's not the deepest matte in the world, but it's definitely deeper and I really like it. I'm taking this on a very old 217 MAC. It's very, like, there's about four hairs left on it. It's a very bald looking 217, but I don't mind that for this look because I just want to get a little bit of the colour in. And this has gone mostly to the outer corner, just for a bit of definition. Build it up very slowly because I don't want this to be too dark, but I do want like the color to be there like I want there to be definition I will say I've noticed from this palette I don't know if I said it in my first impressions or not there's a lot of kick up from all the colors um like a good bit of kick up but that doesn't bother me it's just something if you're you know if that annoys you it's something to be wary of but it doesn't bother me because I just use the kick up as shadow I'm just going back out my big, big fluffy brush with the first color on it just whatever's left on it, I'm using that to soften around the edge. And that's kind of as dark as I want the eye to be. I am as well pulling it out a little bit in a wingy shape because I am gonna be doing a winged liner and I want the whole shape to be like that. But because it's soft, it's just gonna add the illusion that the eye is more winged. Then going still into the bedrock shade, I'm taking this on a number seven smoky eye brush, just a really small teeny weeny little pencil brush. Just gonna take that and run that along the lower lashes as thick as you want it to be. I don't want it to be like as mental as I normally do with this color because I do want to blow it out like I did the top. And then just taking that big fluffy brush again, going back into Boa, just picking up a little bit at a time and we're gonna blow that out a little bit more. And you can go back and forward and add more of the darker color if you need to. But I just want to blend the life out of this first. I do want this to be like super soft, blown out and smoky-ish in a really soft way. 
And then all the focus to be on liner, the sparkly bits and the lip. Yes, I really like that darker shade, the rock steady. That's really pretty. It's the first time I'm using it. Alrighty guys, so then if it looks a little bit bright, actually, it's because I'm filming this like early in the day. Uh, so it's very bright <laughs> for some reason. So I'm going to go in with my Too Faced glitter insurance just for a little bit extra tackiness on the lid, just to make sure it's super sparkly. And I'm just going to use my finger because I'm not even going to use a brush to apply the shadow. Just a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna go into my second favorite color in the palette, which is Slated. And I'm gonna take that just on my finger. It's a super shock shadow, so it does apply better with your finger anyway. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that's just gonna go on to the lid. Oh, it's just super sparkly. Like it's not a huge amount of base color in it, which I don't mind for this look in particular anyway. And I love that kind of shadow. I need just something that's really sparkly oh yes yeah, so soft and beautiful i love it so last little step is take the same shade slated i'm taking that on my baby finger this time and pop that on the inner corner just as a little bit of a highlight in there and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna jump off i'm gonna do a nice liner of some sort i'm gonna do my lashes finish off my face and i'll let you know what i use when i come back Alrighty guys, so this is how I'll finish off the look. I am in love. It turned out exactly how I wanted. And yeah, I'm in love. I love it. I feel so dramatic and grungy and pretty and kind of natural, but with a really dark lip. I don't know. Does that make any sense? I don't know. So let me tell you what I used on my face. So for the eyes, all I did was a nice winged liner. I used my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner to do a decent wing, nothing too crazy, but just enough to really shape the eye. Then my mascara is the Clinique Lash Power Mascara, that's what I've been using. Loads on my bottom lashes, but some on my top as well, just to blend into my false lashes. My false lashes then are the Violet Voss Vamtress, that's what the box looks like. One of my new favorite pairs of lashes ever. Very comfortable, even though they're super, super dramatic, so I love them. Then onto my cheeks, I already had my bronzer on. This is the Larizzi bronzer stick in the shade Aloha and I use that to contour bronze whatever you want to call it everywhere then my blush also I had on at the beginning is the Ingla AMC cream blush in the shade 91 super soft peachy sort of color just to give a bit of warmth on the cheeks especially since everything is super cool toned I just wanted a little bit of color on the cheeks and then my highlight I kind of wanted to have a similar vibe to what the shimmer is on the lid and I used my Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Balm Highlighter the shimmery white so it has like no base color it's just super sparkly when it hits the light Super wet looking, I love it. And then my lip is the Dose of Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chocolate Wasted. I love this color. I love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love it. I think it's so beautiful and rich and yeah, I'm loving it. So yeah, that's my face. Okay guys, so that is look number two using our That's Taupe palette from Colourpop. Like I said in the beginning, all pictures of the up close eye and the full face will be up on my Instagram sometime after the video goes live. So you can check that all out there. So yeah, let's see what we do for look number three. Okay guys, so let's get into look number three using the That's Taupe palette from Colourpop. So I'm feeling a half cut crease just using glitter primer. I'm not gonna do like any full on cut crease or anything like that. I definitely wanna use the Super Shock and it's definitely second favorite if not my favorite it's between them two i'm definitely going to be using my dark brown and i'm probably going to use the deeper uh transition shade the more grayish tone and this shimmer we haven't played with yet so i'm going to do these two on the lid and then these two in the crease we may use a lighter one to blend out a bit more if we want to but we're going to see how we get on everything i have on my face right now is already listed down below so you can see it there i have my base brows and eyeshadow primer on so it's all listed there so you can see so let's get started so i'm going to start with rock steady which is that lighter or mid-tone kind of color there is a lot of kick up from this palette i've really noticed that the more i've used it every shade that's not the super shock shadow pretty much has kick up in it it's fine it doesn't bother me it's just it's definitely more than i'm like a lot of other palettes that I have. I'm just taking that. This is actually, sorry, this is a Lavender Lux from BH Cosmetics number eight brush. It's like a pinched fluffy brush. So it gives you a little bit of packing action, a little bit of blending action. And we're just building that color through the crease. If anything looks a little bit different at this part of the video, I've played around with settings on my camera. I watched videos on how to change things that might need to be changed. Um, I just want, I was looking at some of my footage from other videos and I just think it could be better. So that's why I've also set up 
my camera to work from my laptop. So I have a actual monitor over here so I won't be looking in the viewfinder all the time. <laughs> I have to get used to it and you guys are probably going to need to let me know if there's anything that I need to switch up again if there's something that maybe it's too bright too dark too much color not enough color or anything like that um to me in the actual computer it looks true to life as true to life as i can think to get it right now but any tips let me know so i'm just making sure to bring that right into that inner part of my crease there just to get a little bit extra definition in there for when we do cut the crease i'm also just kind of with whatever's left on the brush, just taking that past the brow. I think every look I've done in this video has been quite winged out, but I just feel like it with this kind of color story. Okay, so then we're gonna go in to Bedrock, which is the deepest brown. I'm only gonna take a little bit at a time because there is a bit of fallout with this one. And I'm gonna take that on a 221 brush from MAC and we're just gonna pop that on the outer corner mostly. It's where I want the most depth to be, but I am gonna run it through the crease a little bit. So just bringing it right the way across the deepest part of the actual eye socket. I'm also just very gently, just with whatever's left on the brush because it is very pigmented, I'm just going to pull that out a teensy bit and I'll blend it out a bit more. I've also, you'll probably notice, popped a little bit onto the lid because then we'll be putting the darker shimmer and then the lighter shimmer. So just have something for them to blend into. Then take the first brush that we were using, just with whatever's left on it, don't pick up any more product just so you have control. And then in a flicking motion, flick that out. Okay, and then we're gonna stick with Bedrock on a teeny, weeny, weeny little brush, whatever brush, angle brush, small little pencil brush, whatever you wanna use, little flat brush even. I'm just gonna take that same deepest dark brown shade and just run that along the lashes. I'm not using a super small brush to be precise or anything like that, I'm just using it because it's easier. And I'm just gonna connect that on that outer corner and run that the whole way across. Okay, and then for smokiness, we are going to go back into Rocksteady and I'm gonna use one of my favorite smudgy brushes that I haven't actually used in ages because I kept wanting to keep it clean and then I just forget to use it. So this is a shading brush from Makeup Geek, not Makeup Geek, Real Techniques. And I'm just gonna use that to fluff this out. I just love the size, the shape, the density of it. I think it's a great brush just for getting in under the eye and quickly blurring everything down there. Make sure as well to connect your blend. Your blend is also important out here. You don't want it to just stop out of nowhere. Okay, so I'm sweating, but we're gonna deal with that. I'm gonna use my NYX glitter primer. I'm gonna take a little bit of that glitter primer on a V Cosmetics flat brush, just whatever flat synthetic brush that you have, concealer style brush, that sort of thing. And we're just gonna pop that on the lid first, just to get some color, not some color. There's no color off this, Carla to get some stickiness down for the colors we apply in a few minutes. And then as you get to the crease and where you would want to cut your crease, just pretend like you're cutting your crease with it and it will lift some product off so it does actually cut the crease for you. Okay, so then we're gonna go into this one here which is the only color I haven't used in the palette and I'm gonna take that's called Cold Blooded on the same brush. I've just kind of wiped off the excess glitter primer. It's probably still a little bit tacky so it actually helps try to prevent fallout but I've already got some fallout so it's okay and I'm just going to place that on to the lid just on the center we're not going on the inner corner and this to me is like the most gray shimmer out of the palette I'm going to add a little bit of a diagonal so we're kind of going like this and this way because it just helps emphasize the cut crease I think when you put the lightest shade up against where you've cut your crease okay I've already done it on this side because I had to change over stuff with my camera and I had to wait for a second so I'm going to take Slated which is my second or my equal favourite in the palette. Now it doesn't pick up great on the brush because it's a super shock shadow but that's expected with those so I will be going in with my finger in a few minutes but I just want to get it up against the cut crease and kind of placed on the eye and then I'll go in and really pack it on but you're just going to follow the whole way across that cut crease making sure that's higher in the center and it slopes down like the way we did with the first shimmer. Okay, and there's kind of no blending between them because the tones are so similar to each other. Like you can literally just pack over like that and they kind of blend into each other naturally. So 
I think that's everything for the actual shadows, except I'm going to take Slate again just on my baby finger and press it on my inner corner just for a little extra highlight in there and it just helps pop and it also matches what we've got going on the lid because it's the same colour. So yeah, that is going to be the finished look. Kind of. It's not finished yet. Uh, I'm going to jump off. I'm going to do my liner, lashes, cheeks and lips. I don't know what I'm going to do for a lip. I may do a deep plummy lip. I'm kind of feeling that. I don't know why. Let's see what I actually put on my face. Alrighty guys, so this is how I have finished off my look. I really really like how this turned out. I did go for my plummy dark lip. Even though I did a dark lip in the last look, I, I don't know. I was just feeling it with this kind of look because I've done a lot of neutral kind of looks. So I was like, we're gonna amp it up a little bit. So let me go through everything that I used. On my eyes, I did do a nice wing liner, nothing too crazy, just a decent wing. Well, probably crazier than some people would like, but on me, it's not too crazy. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum in Ultra Black. Nice liquid line and off we went. Then for my waterline, I decided on a grey sort of colour. So I went with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Yuzi, which is just like a gunmetal grey, which I just think blends really nice and gives us a nice smoke on the bottom. Then for my mascara, I've got the Clinique Lash Power Mascara. It's just what I've been using recently. Nothing, nothing too crazy. And then my lashes. Okay, so my lashes are a pair of MAC lashes. They're either the 76s, which I think is what they are, or 75s, they could be. I don't know. So I'm going to just list them down below. So they're down below. They're 76s, I think, but they're definitely listed down below for you guys. So you can see them there. I just don't have the case anymore, so I don't have the number anymore. And I would look it up, but I couldn't be bothered right now. So I'll just list them down below for you anyway. On to cheeks then. I went in with my... Nabla Shade and Glow Powder in the shade Gotham. Beautiful, love it. Just gives a nice bit of contour and I really like it. Then my blush is this guy here. It's the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter. And this is the shade Highlight Bling. And I used the blush, which is a very glowy blush, like all the glow you're seeing here on my cheeks, hopefully you're seeing. That's all just a blush because the highlight I only did here. And it's this guy here as well. I also did, if I don't know if you have to see it, unless you look at the pictures on my Instagram or anything like that. I set my face using my MAC Fix Plus Gold Light Spray. It has a like gold shimmers in it. And it just adds a little bit of a shimmer over the skin. Nothing crazy, just a bit of a warm glow over the skin. And then the lip, which is the fun part that I added to the look. I used my Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream in the shade Velvet Slipper. I mentioned in my liquid lipstick swatch video that I did a while ago, this one of my favourite colours, it is my favourite colour from Sleek, one of my favourite colours of all time and if you don't have it you should, this is, oh, something about this colour just makes me so happy, so yeah, I love it. Okay guys, so that is our three looks, one palette using the That's Taupe palette from Colourpop. I really enjoyed using this palette, I have to say, I really did. And out of my other Taupe palette, this is my favourite, I've already said it already. Um, this is one over the Taupe's palette from Juvia's Place, so if you want a Taupe palette, go for this one instead, as opposed to that one. I just find this a better one, the depth is a bit better, you can get a bit more variety of looks out of it as well. I did love that one as well. Don't get me wrong, but if I had to get rid of one of them, that would be the one I'd get rid of and I would keep this one. I really, really liked it. I love all the looks that I did. Um, what one's my favourite? Oh my god, I can't think. The first one was super sexy and smoky. The second one was like grungy and a little bit like natural with grunge with a super big winged liner and I really like that as well and super big lashes. And this one is like a vampy dream. I don't know. I can't pick. I can't pick. Someone will have to pick for me. Let me know in the comments down below what one you would pick for me. Pick pick your favourite look for me. And I'll, I'll say that that one is my one. Yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, all the pictures of this look, up close eye pictures and full face pictures, and the second look, the same, and the first look, the same, will all be on my Instagram. It's linked down below so you can see it there. I will be doing an IGTV of swatches with this eventually. I don't know when but it will go up eventually. So if you want to vote on polls on which palettes to see next, then you can do that on my Instagram as well. Also guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down below to see many more videos coming up. I have very fun things. We've got my color series. We've got my makeup collection. We've got get ready with me's. We've got the odd tag video thrown in here and there. Never know, we might even have more Lush videos coming up. 
I have things, I have things happening that I want you to see. So you can hit subscribe down below to see that. Oh my God, yes. And the next palette for next month that I'm definitely gonna be doing. Oh, 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 it's big. It's colorful. I don't know how I'm going to do swatches in one video. That's gonna take a while. I'm not gonna do them live. I'm gonna do them the way I've been doing the other ones. And also, I like to try and use as many colours as I can from a palette when I'm doing a three looks one palette and I'm first impressions but I don't know how I'm going to do that with this one because it's so large. I'm going to give you a hint if you want to guess down below because I don't want to tell you guys yet. It's like a carnival so you can tell me down below what you think that one is as well. Also don't forget to like down below to give me a little bit of support. It's the quickest, 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 simplest and easiest way to give me that support, to get me around to more people, seen by more people and also tells me that you like the videos and you want to see more. So yeah, I think that's all my details and I will see you in the next video guys.